Hey guys, JC Smith here. Well, today I'm gonna take the Dodge down to the shop and uh, we're going to uh, take the service body off of it. Um, I don't want it on this truck. I'm gonna run something different and uh, I thought it'd be a good day to take it off. We got some decent weather and you know that kind of stuff and I guess many of you probably don't know about this truck I did a live stream when I bought it and uh, that's really about as far as I got I've been kind of busy with other stuff here lately so maybe I'll show you what we got here I'll show you the truck how about that many of you haven't seen this truck <clears throat> this is a 2011 Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins diesel four wheel drive and it's got the service body on it and uh, yep look at that back to the ratty coat they'll never end so I bought this thing and I stole this truck I mean I stole this truck I originally bought this thing with the intentions of just buying it because I stole it and you know flip it real quick and make a few bucks and move on but I gotta tell you um, I'm not feeling like I'm not feeling that right now I think I think I'm going to take that bed off because it, it makes the truck look bad. I'm going to either put a western hauler bed or I'm going to put a fifth wheel on it and use it with that car hauler I got. Um, I want to take that truck, the car hauler with no bed, and the silver one with the bed, and I want to weigh the two and see what this, the weight savings is. I'm guessing it's about 440 pounds. 400, 440, that's the best I can find online to, you know, a comparison of what they would weigh. However, that the bed that is the the regular pickup bed however this is a cabin chassis so it has a little bit more frame and the fuel tank configuration might be different so anyways we're going to take this thing off this is actually a really nice bed um they just painted it flat black um apparently it must have got buggered up but a friend of ours has taken it he wants it so uh, i'm going to get it off today and he'll come next week sometime or tomorrow and come and get it and then i can move forward but i wanted to see what this truck weighs without a bed as a cabin chassis compared to a pickup truck with a uh, with a regular pickup truck bed you know what I mean as a cabin chassis because they're identical they're both 3500s they're both uh, four-wheel drive they're both uh, the 67 diesel and this one's got some smoke and tire <clears throat> like I said I got uh, just just an incredible deal on this truck i mean it needs a few things but it's not horrible i mean uh, one thing on this one that the other one doesn't have and have is the gearbox the steering gearbox has a little play in it uh, i'm not going to adjust that i'm probably just going to uh, uh replace the gearbox it'll just be peace of mind for me um it's got an abs light on i don't know if you guys can see this but i wonder if this could be the reason the ABS light is on. <clears throat> when I talked to him, he says, I don't know what happened. He said, uh, he just had an ABS uh, sensor replaced on this side. Well, apparently the guy didn't get it plugged in well. And now the other end of the connector has been bouncing around up there and it's uh, the other end of the wiring harness. It's all boogered up, so I have to replace that. It's got a check engine light. I'd ran the codes for it. Uh, it's got an EGR code, which this truck's all stock there's no there's no tuner on it it's not deleted and it'd be nice to do a comparison you know because the silver one is fully deleted be nice to compare the two and see which one tows better but like i said i stole this truck i'm pretty happy with it it's a tradesman interior the other one's an slt um of course my wife has done her magic on it it was kind of dirty when we got it but uh you know she's she got it all set up all cleaned up um it's, it's manual shift full drive and instead of the uh oops dropped her towels instead of the uh four wheel drive knob it doesn't have the navigation of the dash it's got the standard cd player stereo which you know what this was actually what i was looking for originally um i originally wanted a tradesman interior still got power windows power locks air cruise tilt all that there is a problem with the with the the power windows that switch over there um will operate the back two but it intermittently operates the front two and i have to look into that i don't know what the problem is there 
you know, typical work truck. Uh, seats got a little wear in them. That one over there has got some some uh, splits in the vinyl, um, which I'm okay with. It's it's not a big deal. I wasn't looking for a show truck, you know. And for what I paid for this truck, uh, I got to tell you, I don't think I could have bought a gas truck this year for this much money. That's how good a deal it was. Um, <clears throat> you know, some things wrong here and there. Obviously, they put a grill in it because the emblem's gone. And that, uh, that grill's nice and shiny, looking pretty new. The bumper, they've been into something here because the uh, license plate's gone. So, you know, it's not a perfect truck, but perfect for me, right? On the way home, I lost one of the, si the simulators. It flew off and hit the guardrail and destroyed it, put a big dent in it, so it's worthless. Um, but I want to get this off. It's got a stack of springs underneath it. They added, I think I counted uh, three springs they added, which will be taken out. I don't like extra springs. I like airbags. Airbags are adjustable, springs aren't. So when you're empty, you know what I mean? It makes it easier. So let's get the shop opened up and we'll get to work on this. All right, guys, I'll catch you in a minute. All right, guys, so the bed's gonna come off and it looks like the hitch is welded to the bed plate. Actually, I'm telling you wrong. It's welded to the truck frame right here, but the bed is bolted to this bracket right here. So uh, we're not going to take this off for the hitch. I'm going to leave both of them on. I got the bumper off. Um, we'll get into all this stuff here. I'm going to leave him as much of this as I can for his 7 pin so that he can have it for his truck. Part of my factory harness it comes out of factory stuff so uh he'll just have to rewire this one i'm just going to cut it down in this area <sighs> which he won't care one one bit because he's going to completely redo it and on his um he has a different hitch setup on his truck but uh that'll get that out of there um i got let me show you this there's this one's actually held on pretty good there's four bolts right here that i'm gonna have to get to now that wind is something in it and then there's i think two or three up front let's see let's see if we can get in here yeah there's a couple up there in the front rail turn you guys sideways Should be up here. Quite honestly, I don't, I don't see them up here. They got a. Oh, I see what it is. They've got a bracket on the side of the plate, a black, a bracket on the side of the frame. So there's two bolts there. So those I'll just torch the heads off. Probably that'll be just as easy. Knock them out because I'm not gonna reuse them brackets. They work pretty cool though. They look good. And then maybe once I got it up. If I do decide I need them brackets, then I'll unbolt it, it'll be easier. So, okay, let's get moving. I'll get on these bolts back here. All right, so checking out all this wiring. All right, what I'm trying to do is get to a point where I'm saving the truck wiring and finding where the body wiring beats the truck, which is gonna be like right in here wind is something today um so anyways this is a connector for my tail lights okay so i'm gonna need that for lights <clears throat> plugs into the factory harness and i don't want to cut the factory harness so <clears throat> i'm gonna come back in here where they've spliced it and i'll cut that loose and then i'll take these are the upfitter switches for the two uh the two lights that are on here the ones in the cab and the ones on the back so i'll cut them out too this is the harness runs up to the front of the truck. I'll leave that because when I put a trailer hitch on here, I'm gonna want a marker light for my trailer separate, uh, like um, like the courtesy blinker on a semi, that kind of thing where you, you, you know, at nighttime a semi flashes his lights so you have enough room to get over in the lane if you're coming over, and then you can take a momentary toggle and, and flash your lights, kind of like a thank you, kind of big in the truck world. So, and then I'll use the other one for, uh, 
a uh, separate battery line to charge up a, uh, a battery on the trailer for the winch. So I'll leave those intact. What I like to do is just cut them loose right at the splice. That way I'm not uh, using up any wiring that uh, he may need. So let me get at it. All right, guys, we got the bed off. Um, came off okay, I guess. The front two brackets on the side of the frame were, were sandwiched kind of tight, so it made it a little difficult pulling the front up. But uh, we got it. I always put a piece of plywood between the bed and the cab, so if it jumps or jerks or whatever, uh, it doesn't hurt the body. But, yeah, I think it looks quite a bit better without that bed on it than it did. Um, guy's going to come and get that uh, bed probably today after I call him get it out of here but uh it's uh it's dirty i need to get it down to the car wash and pressure wash it uh, i'll rig up some temporary mud flaps and lights real quick um you can see all the diesel fuel around here there was a diesel tank in the um, bed so all the overflow and you know every time they got fuel and it leaked they would it would just get all over and then collect all the road dirt so I'm gonna pressure wash it real good. We'll uh, clean this up and then I'll paint all this and then we'll get ready to go the way we're gonna go, which I'm not sure if we're gonna put a bed on it or if I'm just gonna put a gooseneck hitch and a fifth wheel. Cause I think, I think it's better if I just put the fifth wheel and the gooseneck plate on here and just leave nothing. I left the rear hitch on and I'll tell you why. I don't want this hitch. I'd rather build my own, but good Lord, man. They've got it welded right here. It's welded right here and then it's welded underneath the frame here i mean uh that's kind of a big deal to take off so i'm probably gonna leave that it looks pretty bad right now all filthy but you know that's nothing a pressure washer won't take care of um you know they've added three leaf springs to this thing i think is what i counted it looks like this one this one and this one are extras you know because the thickness is different than the others and that one has a taper. I could be wrong. I'll look at the other one, but those look like they've been added. Um, I don't want those. I want airbags. Airbags I can adjust. These I can't. These tires are not the right size. They're they're wider tires. Um, these are not going to work for me because they're just. I mean, I can get my one finger in here, but not by much more. And if I put a load on here and the sidewall squats at the bottom, where you know where the load is they're gonna rub and if they end up rubbing it'll cause heat friction and I could blow a tire so um, I'll be replacing all these tires if we use this with that trailer so that's where we're at for today um, I don't think I have time today to get down and pressure wash this um, but it's at least it's not raining today but probably the next day or so I'll get it down there was uh, brackets right here and they were pretty tight against the frame so it was you know kind of difficult getting it to come up but it did it came up no damages no troubles but uh that's a shame about them tires isn't it all six of them are matching but you know it's not gonna work for me so they're gonna have to come off but <coughs> anyways i think it looks a heck of a lot better to me without that bed i might just go get some those uh, minimizers um, full fenders or plastic like the GMC had and put on there I should have uh, the guy that bought the GMC wasn't gonna use it like that he was gonna take them off I probably could have got them from him I didn't think about that didn't think about needing them it's kind of foolish on my part but anyhow we're done with this today guys that's all we got we'll catch you on the next one